I think if you're another retailer, whether it's Kroger, Costco, or really anyone who competes in the food space, I think this is a name you want to look at to prevent the threat of Amazon, you know, further expanding a brick and mortar and, and becoming more dominant within the grocery category. Rupesh, would this have happened without an activist? Is this something that organically would have made sense to you? Yeah, so I think without an activist, no, I don't think this would have happened. I think the whole foods management team, they have a plan in place. I think if, you know, I think over the next few, few quarters as a plan took hold, I think the shares on their own would have made it up to, you know, at least a low 40. So I think the activist is really behind the timing of the sale. You know, I think outside of the activist involvement, Whole Foods would probably still be an independent company. Sarah, you were on the air this morning when this deal broke. I know you cover the food space closely. What do you think this means for other companies like Kroger, whose stock is off significantly today on the back of this news? Boy, it is a game changer when it comes to the industry landscape. I think for the future of groceries, that's the bigger question. Three points I would highlight in terms of the competitive threat that this Amazon Whole Foods deal represents. Two names like Kroger, Walmart, which has more than 50% of its sales coming from food at this point, Costco, Target, anyone in the grocery business. Number one, Amazon has deep pockets, which means it can lower prices on Whole Foods natural and organic products. That means that an industry that was already facing enormous price competition, and we got that from the Kroger earnings report yesterday, could see even further lowering of profits and even smaller profit margins and already very thin profit margin business. Number two, that could really attract new customers to natural and organic and take them away from traditional food retailers and food companies. Maybe one reason why Mondelez and Kellogg and Hershey are all trading lower today. And number three, they could also bring Whole Foods at a much larger scale. Prime has complete national scale online. Prime customers, Prime Go, Prime Pantry, Prime Fresh. Through all of these distribution outlets, it could take the Whole Foods branded items mm -hmm. across the country. The biggest wild card, of course, for the groceries guys is how does Amazon see the future of this industry? Is it bricks and mortar online or some sort of hybrid? One thing is for sure, well, and they've, got, they've got a fertile testing ground right now buying up one of the biggest organic grocers. Well, and Amazon is able to see around corners that many other companies haven't been able to in the past. So Rupesh, if you're a private equity firm and you're looking at the stocks today, are you are you interpreting this as a 10% coupon on a company that you might have looked at anyway? Or is it too risky to jump into a sector where Amazon might make it impossible for you to compete? Yeah, so I think from a private equity perspective, it would be very difficult to get involved at these type of valuations. You would have to lever up the balance sheet and this is a turn that's going to take, you know, I would say it's going to take some time to, to complete. So I think for private equity, it would be very risky. For Amazon, you know, it, it's, it makes a ton of sense with their Amazon Prime now. And they're very clear that they want to expand Amazon Fresh in a number of urban markets. And having the Whole Foods stores within those urban markets may enable them to have a better assortment and to better serve those urban customers. You know, it's interesting, Rupesh. Uh, this just came out a short while ago. I think about 1230. Barclays agrees with you. They just upgraded Whole Foods and slapped a $48 target on it, up from 40. So Barclays is in your camp where they see a potential new bidder. But I guess let me go back to sort of Sarah's point. Number one, Rupesh, do you think, and I, I don't want to put you on the spot legally here, I, I've, mm -hmm. I have questions. I do believe this is going to be looked at by regulators, not because of groceries, but because of Amazon's Prime. That's a different issue. Do you think the, the deal could be blocked? And what happens to Kroger here? Kroger is, is down 30% this week. I wonder if Amazon really wanted bigger distribution. They could get Kroger for about the same price, maybe a little bit more, but get six times the number of stores. Yeah, yeah. So I think from a regulator perspective, Amazon doesn't disclose their grocery sales, but we suspect they still have a very low market share. So I don't see any ground for a regular stopping a Whole Foods Amazon competition. Now, from a Kroger perspective, you know, to the extent that Amazon comes in and drastically lowers all the prices in Whole Foods, let's just say center store categories, that would have an impact on Kroger. You know, in some cases, they may need to also become more aggressive on the pricing front. So I think the pricing is really the key concern out there, and that's really what's driving all the grocers down well, that's, today. And, that's, and just to add to your point, Brian, I would just say on that Barclays note, the big takeaway there for me was that Karen Short, the analyst, said that names like Kroger have to bid they have to figure out a way, even if they don't have the cash, because either they drive up the price for Amazon and make it very expensive to do this deal, or they take the biggest threat out of their biggest 
competitor. She also says that it would be Kroger's fault if Amazon does get away with this deal for not moving on Whole Foods earlier. There have been rumors that Kroger would make a bid for Whole Foods for the last few years. By them not doing that, yeah. they've put it in the hands of Amazon. But, you know, it's Rupesh, I guess I'm confused because I understand why the stocks are down. Is that, oh, Amazon's yep. coming in, they're going to drive... The margins are so low in this business anyway, I'm not sure how much lower they can drive them, number one. And number two, didn't Amazon in some ways just validate the value of grocers and brick and mortar? I mean, Amazon is, is basically becoming what it sought to kill. Shouldn't there be a bid in some of these names? Because Amazon just assigned a pretty good valuation to selling lettuce out of a store made with concrete blocks. Yeah, I mean, the concern here, you look at Whole Foods, they have 8% EBITDA margins. The concern is they'll bring it that down to maybe, let's just say, 2 to 3%. And then the entire industry then, you know, could feel an impact and they may have to react. So the concern is it's simply that it's a race to the bottom in the, in the grocery world if Amazon, or even a bigger race to the bottom, if Amazon is now involved more aggressively in the category. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.